We got a retractable screen door that's supposed to take 30 minutes to install. Let's see if it actually takes 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Yeah. All right. <laughs> this is more going to take like two hours. <laughs> all right. Look at that. Guess we got to take it all apart. Come on, Adam. We're three minutes in already. I uh, know. I'm not doing too good. Yeah. Okay, so there are three options. Eight. So it's on the casing. Oh. Partway on the casing. Needs a filler board. Hopefully we don't have option three. So we don't have extended. We got a flush Hopefully that's the easy one. I'm hoping. In order to get this in my 30 minutes. You're seven and a half minutes in. <sighs> Darn. It says the screen door is designed to fit door openings between 32 and 36 without modifications. All right, so it's, we put it together at the widest and tallest. I guess it just goes like that. That doesn't seem likely. This piece needs to slide all the way to here. Oh, I can't get it out. <laughs> Do you need to slide it out or can you just pull this under it? I guess it goes like that. All right. And that slides all the way back. Okay. So we figured it out. Now let's try it on the other side. The bottom part here has to go down in these slats. Okay. Now this has to go underneath this. Let's do the other side. We are 23 minutes in. Oh, are you okay? Yeah. The whole thing has been put together. Hey, you guys are making great progress. Good job. And it only cost you one of man friend's fingers. Let's just stand it up. Is this upside down? Yes, it's upside down. We have to slide in the sill plate, which is probably this J channel here. Oh wait, you can't see what you're doing on the video. I'm not even sure what I'm doing yet. For the little channel here, I guess it just goes in there. Maybe. And there are those gray things extenders? Yeah, they just go to the edge. Is there a gap up there? It's just hitting. It shows in the directions on how to do the sill plate. Either you can have it going up or even. Now I've put it up far enough so there's no gap up top, but down at the bottom, you've got that sill plate that's going kind of an upward direction. A lot of times people use this as a step and that's gonna bend this bottom frame. So we're gonna have ours even with the other sill plate. But then at the top, there's a gap there. So we're gonna cut a piece of PVC trim to go behind it. So if you catch it, it doesn't bend inward. We have cut our piece of PVC trim. It was magically fast. It was magically fast. You can pin nail it, screw it. We screw it. We just got to do some pilot holes. We're going to do the pilot holes up there because I don't know if the PVC splits or not. So now if I put this up and go check the top. I see no gap. Perfect. So I think the last part is just really screw this in. Got a level. It's kind of overkill, but I'm going to pre-drill the hole because I'm a believer of that. You don't over tighten these. Strip the hole, you're done. Let's see if it closes. No. Oh, huh. If you don't lock it, it just opens. I think the hook is supposed to point upward. Oh, there's two little screws here. You can just take that out. How do you know how like high to put it? Are you just guessing? Right now I'm just guessing. That works. <laughs> We're almost at 30 minutes in just this filming. There, now you got a screen door. Pretty cool. That way you don't have to worry about constantly opening the screen door every single time you want to get in the house. For a screen door, this is actually kind of a nice solution. We had to do a little bit of trim work, which is fine. Nothing ever goes perfect. Easy to install? Easy. It's lightweight. I think the instructions could have been a little better. I think if I were to like redo it now from start to finish, we could do it, but... If 30 you, minutes on your first install is not realistic. No. First install for anything is always going to just double or triple the time. We quadrupled it. Yeah. 